Good afternoon. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, members of the graduating class, uh, faculty, family, and friends. Uh, firstly, I would sincerely like to thank Trent University and just to emphasize how much this truly means to me. Um, you know, different people are fulfilled in different ways. And this honor is particularly important to me uh, because of the long connection I've had with Trent University. It really uh, got us started as a young architectural firm working on the Child Care Center. Um, it was a key moment in our er early architectural life and I remembered it as though it was yesterday. I still remember the interview uh, in great detail, <laughs> which, and it was a long time ago. It was our very first Governor General's Award winning project. Uh, uh, and it stand out, and it stands out in my mind as an important life experience. I was also reflecting, sitting here, uh, how had, having some rather long meetings on the student center. A group of students sat in under those cedars with my dog Shaman and entertained them for a couple of hours while we were in meetings. And he loved this place and loved to come and visit. Uh, your education here at Trent has given you not only an appreciation for knowledge, for the beauty of thought, uh, but uh, important tools as you become absorbed in the next uh, kind of period of your life and work stuff, life stuff, uh, you know, the tools of critical thought, uh, the, and especially here at Trent, the understanding of worldviews, evolving worldviews, changing ideas through history, give you a, 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 the potential to, to glimpse beneath the surface of what you hear and see in the world, to analyze and to understand, and I think also um, not to take people for granted, not to judge quickly. Uh, for you know, people have different life experiences. Uh, they see the world differently than uh, you know. All people see the world just a little bit differently, and some of these views may not seem very uh, reasonable or comprehensible. But my advice. Use the, your tools to question assumptions. You know, don't assume what everyone's saying isn't equally meaningful to what you're saying. Uh, take what you observe around you as meaningful, hints, clues. Uh, it's not whether they are correct or incorrect, but it's the insights behind them yeah, that is what they offer. Uh, rather than dissociate from every day, you know, say, oh, that's all, you know, kind of banal, uh, embrace the everyday, embrace these, these ideas that at first you might uh, not find interesting. Uh, see them as inspiration. Uh, see them as an inspiration that can be reprocessed into understanding and potentially into uh, new outcomes, new ideas. Uh, the starting points from which the imagination reinvents uh, the, our reality. Um, a, a good example is actually in architecture. It's very, very key that architecture remains very connected to, the, to everyday reality, to very basic stuff, to purpose, to site, to place. And when it's not connected to it, it becomes meaningless and, well, not only useless, but not meaningful to people. But it is also equally important that design is not a simple reflection, you know? It's not just, oh, it has to be like that because that's what we, we need. Um, it is a reprocess, re reprocessing of this into an imaginative construct. So it's inspired by the everyday, by the existence of a river, uh, but it is a transformation into a new idea. And that's your job, not, not to kind of uh, overlook the everyday, but to, to appreciate it in an in a imaginative way. And as, the, as you navigate the world in the next phase of your life, uh, appreciate everyday experience through a filter of critical thought uh, and one that can inspire poetic and beautiful responses. So thank you very much.